We've heard a lot about the idea of teachers carrying guns into our children's schools. It's already happening in a few districts in Texas. One of the questions many of us are asking is, what kind of training will the teachers get? Well, it turns out it's pretty substantial. Tonight, Todd Unger shows us in this WFAA original. Get a timer. Go, go, go! It is live training. I will get you! That tests split second. I'm gonna kill you! Decision making. For the moments North Texas teachers pray. Never come. That's Norman Rangel. Denied. In the middle of an active shooter simulation. Denied fail! That Denied throws fail. educators in the worst. Get down, kids. Down, down. What if? Heart rate, a little, little bit of tunnel vision. Norman yeah, tighten this up a little bit. is a principal at a Burleson private school. That's good, that's good. He also has his Texas LTC license to carry. And it's part of a growing wave of adults at school thinking about arming themselves to protect kids at school. It, it definitely brings an awareness to uh, you know, just how uh, serious this is. This is day two of a school safety course. Questions? Only offered to educators with an LTC. Just because you got the gun doesn't mean he's not going to shoot. Longtime gun instructor. Now come do it. And local cop Brian Proctor is the operator. Stand here. At Ghost Strap Firearms. This one filled out actually within 12 hours and we announced it. That you can get around. Since Parkland specifically. Get your high school. Maybe. His courses are packed. Hey, teach. Lock intruders with Glocks, ARs, and body armor penetrating a would-be classroom. They're not there to find the active shooter. They're not there to hunt them down. They are here to protect the kids. The practice scenarios cover the threes. Avoid. It's a lot easier to stick it up. Deny. And as a last option, defend. Put down your life. Yes, that's that's what we sign up for. And as a, as a, a teacher, those kids are like our kids. What did you say? Jeremiah Chambers is a special ed teacher at a local high school. And you have a pencil, then we're all going to be laid on the floor. He isn't here to debate the politics of teachers carrying. He says he just wants to learn more. Uh, how to stop a door, how to take, how which exits to go out of, how to keep them covered. How many of here? Brian is aware there's a debate raging outside of his Arlington facility. At 170, though, you're starting to creep up to where your body and your engine is starting to shut down. A lot of what he preaches. So that's how he was able to just back up. Is also about nerves, staying calm, and then being ready if more school boards give the okay. In fact, a lot of these teachers today, um, their districts don't allow them, and they're going to have to go to their districts and, and try to implement this. Texas DPS has authorized about two dozen of these courses around the state. What direction does he have? None of the teachers here really thought it would come to this. You know, you got to do what you got to do. But for those tasked with keeping your children safe, yeah. it's reality in 2018. Ceasefire! Todd Unger, Channel 8 News.